Hi, Purgatory Pals. Just a quick one here to talk about the ongoing um, situation. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a situation. Like, what? So I think this this kind of cut. So I've been having a bad week anyway. It doesn't mm-hmm. help. And then like trying to watch the episode before the recording with all this going on, I was just like, this this is coloring my perception of this episode like not 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 just of the episode but as as jared and jensen like but then so i i literally stopped watching it because i was just like it's just in my mind yeah so and then i started watching it again before we recorded today and i don't think this is a friendship breaker for them like i no. I think I think as soon as they can get on the phone with each other, I think you know they'll work out and they'll be fine. Just because it's fifteen years of friendship, I don't think they're that petty that they they wouldn't be friends after that. Because I was also thinking like how how would co- uh, conventions work? Because they both go. <laughs> Is one of them yeah. going to stop going? Like no, I don't think so. I think yeah. Anyway, so that was my quick take. Let, do you want to explain what's going on for people who might not know? I'm pretty sure most people who listen oh, to us know what's going on. I'm sure. If you listen to us, you probably know what happened. But basically, I woke up on fr- Friday morning at 6am and my Supernatural group chats had imploded because, <laughs> <laughs> because Jensen had posted on Instagram and Twitter about the prequel that him and Danny were making. Um, with their production company which we kind of good in discussion about what they were going to do with that and like that was already big news in itself and I feel mm-hmm. like we could have done a whole thing on that but then Jared tweeted out that he knew nothing about this and was really upset about it and it was a whole thing on Twitter and mm-hmm. I agree with you I think this is like blown out of proportion like hugely not by the fandom necessarily but by everyone as well like everyone involved <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, so I think like Twitter feud aside and I it was funny like <laughs> yeah is the sequel nobody is a prequel sorry that nobody asked for like nobody cares I don't think there's anybody out there who's like what we got from the series of you know Mary and John's backstory was more mm. than enough because they're not main characters I'm, I'm going to say something and I'm going to, in the words of Trixie Mattel, controversial yet brave. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Now, this is why. <laughs> You're going to have to explain yourself, woman. <laughs> Before you all turn on me, because I can, I can hear you typing already. I, this just might be me just being way over optimistic. I trust Jensen with this and like the vision. And I feel like he cares about the show as much as we do. And yes, maybe it wasn't like the first thing that we wanted to be made, but I feel like if this does like do okay, there's other stories and things that like maybe they would want to tell. And I think that's kind of alluded mm-hmm. to in the in the press release. So like I <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get what people wanted and like what we're getting isn't what people necessarily wanted, but I feel <sighs> I don't know. I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt on this. <laughs> I mean that's that's a that is fair. That is really fair actually. Um, to give them a benefit of the doubt because, like you said, Jensen does care. The thing is, I think th- this is how I see it because, like, Jensen always goes on and on as well about how great the like all the crew were for Supernatural. So I imagine first of all he wants to get those people back together, mm-hmm. right? Because he knows they're good to work with, and he also knows out of the cast who's good to work with as well. So this is definitely going to be like getting your buddies on to help you, kind of thing. Yeah. If Misha doesn't direct an episode, I'll be really surprised because he's, he directed an episode of Supernatural already. If Rich Spy mm-hmm. doesn't direct an episode, I'd be super surprised. Like, Yeah, me too. Do you know what I mean? So he, I think he probably, they've made this production company because they, they have a group of people that they want to work with. Mm-hmm. And this, that's how you do it. You have to make your own company and then you get to choose who you want. Also, this he gets to play true. Dean again. <laughs> I, see, I see you, Ackles. Like, <laughs> I see Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And also, I mean... He loves those boots, as we as we have spoke, as you've told me a few times. Well, not a few times, but you've, he's you've wearing mentioned. them as Soldier Boy. So exactly, I just I, I think it's it's difficult because I just don't like John Winchester. <laughs> I knew um, this was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and the the story gets interesting in so when, 
when so I I, just, I haven't actually read the entire article. I just read the hi- the headline, mm-hmm. as most people do, um, and like a little bit of the byline. Um, so when I first read prequel, I was like, okay, all right, they're gonna focus on like Sam and Dean when they were kids, like their sort of growing mm-hmm. up situation. And then I was, then it I read it was about Mary and John. I was like, what about Mary and John? Going back to nineteen seventy two. So okay. the full, the full timeline, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, I look <laughs> because the, the like they they retconned a lot of season one. Mm-hmm. I think, especially in in the le- later seasons, especially with Mary's story, because uh, obviously we we know nothing about Mary at this point in season two, so they had to add backstory to her, but. We from from what I remember of that episode when they go back in time, mm. John is not about the hunting life. He knows nothing. I don't know. Uh, so the the current feeling on the internet, from what I can gather, is that it could be almost set while John is away, and maybe focus on Mary hunting. Which could okay. be cool to see I, if it was if it was very Mary focused. I think I like yeah, I could definitely mm-hmm. get down with that. Also, I just want to say if this is not told from Dean like explaining it to like various people, I <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to cope with that. I want to see him sitting down with other characters from the show telling this story I, like that. I want to mm-hmm. see that. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that. But again. That doesn't make sense because it's clear that John <laughs> never told him anything about his childhood or like, but, and he knows nothing about Mary. But Dean is narrating this prequel. <laughs> the, the own, the, oh, oh, I'm going to say it. The only way this works is that he, he's narrating from heaven. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, but I mean, it does give a chance to bring it. Like, that's what I mean. That That's the kind of thing yeah. I was hoping for. But I don't know. We'll see. The thing is, the, the the fact that it's going back on the CW has issues as well, because they're not going to... I feel like a lot of the themes... I guess it, it kind of depends on when when this is going to be released and when mm-hmm. it's going to be filming. Mm-hmm. Because also this week, we just we found out that Loki is canonic, canonically by... Yes! Which was amazing. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> As soon as so I was watching the episode, and as soon as that bit happened, I paused it and sent a message to Amy like straight away. <laughs> I was so excited. I didn't care if she hadn't seen it, but I figured out like out of context, it's fine because you don't know what actually happened yeah. in the episode. So, but like maybe it was a bit of a spoiler. So I'm sorry. It's fine. It's um, fine. <laughs> so and that's on the Disney, uh, like on the Disney Network. Yeah. On Disney Plus. So if such a big company can do it. Like some of the themes that they were alluding to in this, like in Supernatural, so they may be able to drop some of these like horrendous tropes. <laughs> yeah, I well, hmm. <laughs> I mm. <laughs> I don't trust the CW. I, I yeah, mm, no, no. Neither do I. I I wonder if it maybe has to be on the CW. That's my like tin hat theory. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I have mixed feelings. Like I said, I'm I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. I have mixed feelings about it. I think because it maybe is because it's going back on the CW and also focusing around something that we wasn't weren't really expecting. Actually, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Also, this seems like really early. Like I wasn't expecting them to announce anything like this for at least another year. Maybe this is true. I mean, we we're not even a year out of the end of supernatural yet like yeah. the end didn't come until november so you know let's we're only like what nine months out from the oh, yeah <laughs> and i think that's partly what's caused this uh disruption in the fandom i think everyone was taken very off guard we yeah. needed time to prepare mentally <laughs> um, for this to happen um and i think the 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 twitter thing was just mm-hmm. is the, the cherry on the top i mean come on what other what other fandom has this actual level of drama i've never seen anything <laughs> like it and yeah i think you're right i think they'll be absolutely fine i think it was like 
but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Like, um, I, some some of the stuff that's come up is like, like oh, it's just. Why? Why did Jared also unfollow Misha? Like he li- clearly also had nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why? Uh, I mean, everyone's followed everyone else again. It's all fine. My mm-hmm. children. I. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's been busy. It's been busy. Uh, I would direct you to Twitter or to Tumblr to catch up on events. And I mean, this is unprecedented for us to do like a, oh my God, this is what we think about this thing. So it must <laughs> this have been true. Curious. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is such, it's such a like, I mean, it rattled everybody, I think. Yeah. Even me, like someone who's like <laughs> not not in the Tumblr sphere as much yeah. as you are I've, I've spoken to people this week who have not even watched season 15 of supernatural who were like oh my god <laughs> i was following this what is going on so yeah it definitely made shockwaves um through the internet i guess because they're they're known for their friendship like their yeah. main characters who became like as close as brothers but like mm-hmm. brother like siblings you fight with your siblings but then get over it like that's just kind of what it is <laughs> that kind of thing i think it was more just hurt that he wasn't yeah. informed because this isn't something that you just kind of it, I, they even said like in, in in the twitter and instagram post that you know it's been in the, in the works for a while mm-hmm. but at the same time how long is a while is it a month is it two months is it because it, it couldn't have been it couldn't have been more than a year obviously mm-hmm. I mean, this is this is it, and like, there's people on both sides of this kind of some kind of weird supernatural civil war. But like, why guys? Why? Because <laughs> there's wrong on both sides here. I feel like they definitely should have like made some kind of in, informal announcement to the people who've worked on the show before that they were going to plan to do this. And then also, mm-hmm. I think if you're mad about it, maybe don't rant, rant, rant about it on Twitter. So it's kind, of, you know, there's like. Yeah, a few things that could have been done different here. <laughs> yeah, in a professional a bit... sense. <laughs> we are also in in the world of Twitter, where like, yeah, every everybody airs their dirty laundry on the Twitter now. Mm-hmm. Like everybody does it. I think that's just it's the call out zone. It's the this is why I don't. I'm not really on there because I'm just like there's yeah. nothing. There's nothing on there that I'm like. Oh, I must follow this person because it, it's just a it's just drama. All the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just don't have the capacity for it. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> the only thing that really annoys me about like Twitter and things like this is because because everybody is on it, I feel like a lot of fan reaction is gauged by Twitter and how people mm-hmm. react on there. When actually, it's really not often the truth. Like, if you go to any other website, say, sort of like Tumblr, I would say even Instagram. The comments aren't nearly as like vitriolic and mm-hmm. extreme so it's a shame and i think it doesn't put anybody in a good light and no. um i wish they kind of <laughs> this this is just a rant this is just like venting about twitter now but like i i kind of wish that that wasn't the case that it because it just looks like the, it, the extreme opinions on all sides of like any fandom are ex- it, expressed only on twitter where Often, many people are very middle of the road about these things, which I think me and you mm-hmm. are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I, I guess there'll be more news on this as it comes out. I mean, as it stands, they've all publicly not apologized, but said that it's all fine on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, but I mean, as soon as there's more news on the prequel, I think we'll probably talk about it here as well because. You might get a double dose of us in the week. <laughs> we'll do we'll do the prequel <laughs> and the and super so we'll do the Winchesters and uh, Supernatural. Oh my god, we're gonna watch it, aren't we? Like... <laughs> yeah, of course we are. Of course we are. <laughs> it's gonna be awful, but of course we are. Okay. Well, I guess it's signing off for now. But like, let us know in the comments if you agree with us, don't agree with us. I imagine that people have very strong opinions on this. So, oh, yeah. mm. looking forward to hearing them. <laughs> oh yes, I'm I'm ready for those conspiracy theories because they're all friends. They are all friends. This is just yeah. they. It was probably if anything, it was probably rushed 
by executives so yeah. they when they try to contact jared he's you know he is filming at the moment so he mm-hmm. can't always be like with his phone i mean and i feel like it's not something you would like text somebody either i think it, it would yeah. be like a co- phone conversation do you want my so. conspiracy I'll, I'll add my two cents conspiracy theory here <laughs> <laughs> My conspiracy theory is that it was going to get leaked. I reckon they knew there was a leak somewhere and then had to mm. announce it. That's my conspiracy theory. That's my two cents. So, <laughs> I mean, in in that sense, wouldn't it have been better for it just to have been leaked and then everybody could have been outraged at the, the person who leaked it? Yeah, but leaks don't work like that, though, do they? Like, no, just... they don't. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's my that's my conspiracy theory. So yeah, tell us yours. I want to know. I want to see what scale of of crazy we're we're, we're just <laughs> we're working with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you, purgatory pals. Stay safe on the internet. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>